Bismillah, Rabbi Shrahli Sadri, wa Yassirli Amri, wa Hlul Uqtatan Milisani Yabqahu Qawli. First of all, thank you so much for having me here with you. Uh, my name is Kawthar, I'm the Vice President of FEMISO and the Head of Member Organization Relations. And although I cannot see any of you, I'm very happy to be here with you because I had the pleasure and honor to meet some of you uh, during earlier events. And uh, mashallah, there's some cool uh, people around FOSIS. And it's a pleasure to work with you uh, as part of FEMISO. Uh, this presentation, I have around 10 minutes to talk you through what we do. But before I jump into that, I would like to show you something. Uh, I think some of you may be in this call even. So before we ta start talking about FEMISO, it's important to start talking about you as well. Uh, FEMISO consists of our member organizations across the whole of Europe. And FOSIS is one of those. And alhamdulillah, we've been able to do amazing work together with you. Uh, this is in uh, 2018 at the European Youth Event in uh, Strasbourg. And mashallah, the FOSIS uh, delegation uh, was uh, beautiful. And then there is this history with FEMISO as well. Uh, I'm quite sure you recognize a few faces uh, in this picture. This was last year dur uh, during our GA and uh, gala. And uh, alhamdulillah, there is a nice and strong relationship between FEMISO and FOSIS. And uh, based on that, we can do beautiful things in Europe. So. Um, who we are. What is FEMISO? So FEMISO is the Forum of European Muslim Youth and Student Organizations and we represent 33 member organizations across the whole of Europe and what we want to do with that is work towards a diverse, cohesive and vibrant Europe. And this was set up in 1995. I know FOSIS is way older, so in a sense uh, you guys are uh, a big sister or brother, but at the same time um, Alhamdulillah, we managed to work together with you. So we started in 1995 in Sweden. And uh, up till now, uh, there's been lots of things being done and uh, events being organized, uh, institutional work being done, grassroots events as well. And uh, I will talk you a bit through that. Uh, if you have any questions, by the way, you can ask them and I'll try to get back to them at the end of the talk. Okay, so what does FEMISO do? Well, uh, one big part of our work is campaigning, uh, whether it be Islamophobia or any, anything else going on. Uh, we are continuously working on uh, organizing campaigns around the issues that um, uh, attach or that um, are very close to European Muslim youth. Uh, training, uh, I'll show you some examples later on. Representation, um, as, uh, as was said in the introduction, Alhamdulillah, we are working with many institutional organizations and we try to make sure that the voice of European Muslims, uh, Muslim youth is heard uh, all the way up to the institutional levels. So we make sure that uh, we are represented the right way. And then we have uh, our network. And I'll show a few examples of all of these uh, in a bit. And I'll start with, let me see, yesterday. So yesterday, uh, our head of trainings, uh, she uh, delivered something during your first day of, uh, of this conference. So Fatima Halawa and trainings is one of the things we do, uh, whether it be around um, spirituality or organizational uh, working or developing a strategy or a vision. Uh, those are things we deliver to our MOs. What we do as well is uh, organize study sessions uh, this was in March 2020 and um, alhamdulillah we had uh, some of you attend as well and the goal of this is to gather different European youth from across the whole of Europe and strengthen them and uh, by even getting them together alhamdulillah we managed to um, learn from each other and uh, progress in the work we do. Something else we do is Campaigning, uh, uh, Outbreak of Generosity is one of our most recent campaigns uh, as a response to the COVID-19 crisis. As Muslim youth, uh, we try to benefit the societies we are part of and we try to actively engage with that. And uh, Outbreak of Generosity is a beautiful example of that. Uh, many of our member organizations from Italy to the UK to the Netherlands uh, engaged within this campaign and Alhamdulillah, uh, we managed to uh, do some beautiful things and we were even mentioned by the UN Youth Envoy uh, in an article uh, that was written by this uh, by her so alhamdulillah uh, by doing that we try to set an example as well and um, take up responsibility as Muslims in uh, Europe and then uh, networking uh, I don't know if you recognize uh, <laughs> uh, Marwan probably you do former vice president of FEMISO and uh, FOSIS and currently um, 
part of the EXCO uh, at uh, FEMISO. This is him uh, at GMI conference in Italy. So uh, through FEMISO, alhamdulillah, uh, different MOs, different youth across the whole of Europe get to know each other, visit each other's events, and by doing so, uh, we grow as community and we learn from each other. So uh, this is one way of doing that as well. And then, um, just like you guys, we had to adapt to this COVID-19 crisis. And mashallah, we've seen many different MOs adapt in a very inspirational way uh, by organizing webinars, online trainings, and um, gathering their members uh, around that. So what we did recently was organize uh, webinars specifically for our MOs, where we shared experiences about how to deal with a crisis like COVID-19, where different MOs could learn from each other. And uh, we just had a nice time hanging out uh, as an alternative for the physical meetings we usually organize. And uh, same goes for the trainings. Uh, the picture in the middle is of a training we delivered for MSA Netherlands uh, by helping them um, uh, organizing their policy in a sustainable way. And then um, the, the, on the other side, you can see more of our institutional work uh, by signing open letters to um, help uh, against the fight um, uh, of racism and being part of the Black Lives Matter movement. Because we do believe that we take responsibility on different levels and we try to do that uh, as best as we can. Um, something else we do is online uh, webinars and uh, talk shows. So we had the European Virtual Aid Reception with uh, different institutional representatives, uh, MAPs, and um, representatives from different uh, European organizations. So that is very nice to have them come together and uh, talk about uh, issues that consider us and how we may work together in that. And then in the middle, our uh, one of our most recent um, episodes of FEMISO Now, the virtual YouTube and uh, podcast we organize with uh, one of you, uh, one of your members, uh, Ayo. He was part of the panel discussing Black Lives Matter and uh, what we can do uh, as European Muslims uh, when it comes to this um, issue. And then uh, we have many different topics that we try to cover. And all of this is to try to deliver to our MOs, to share information that's relevant, and at the same time to gather feedback on what we do and what we can do and how uh, the whole uh, network in Europe can grow. Because we do believe that the stronger our MOs are, the stronger you as an organization uh, um, are, the stronger everyone else is, uh, the more impact we can make on a grassroots level, but on an institutional level as well. So this is one way of doing that. And then, let me check. Well, uh, it was mentioned uh, within my introduction that uh, Alhamdulillah, we managed to work with many, many different uh, organization on different levels, uh, NGOs and civil society level, uh, with governments, with institutional uh, organizations. Uh, this is just an example of that. And of course, at the heart of all that we do are our member organizations because um, FEMISO is uh, those 33 member organizations and together, inshallah, we um, manage to uh, make a change. And then we have the institutional side of um, our work. Uh, as mentioned before, uh, we work together with the Council of Europe, uh, with the United Nations, with the OSCE. So by combining the grassroots approach with the institutional work, we try to have an impact on various levels and inshallah by doing so um, advocate and um, represent uh, European Muslim youth. So that's it. I try to keep it concise. As was mentioned before, uh, you can stay in touch with us in different ways. Uh, make sure to visit our website and um, I will share the link of our newsletter in the chat, inshallah. So by clicking on that, uh, you can see our latest issue and uh, you can subscribe on the upper left corner. So that way uh, we, uh, we can stay in touch. And uh, please feel free to reach out to us whenever you need something as FOSIS, as organization, because like I said before, we strongly believe that the stronger uh, our members are, the stronger all of us are. So um, that's what we try to do and to uh, represent and work towards uh, a Europe that's um, as good as possible for all of us. And I'm aware that <laughs> Europe may be a bit of a sense.
sensitive issue when it comes to Britain, but we still love you guys even after Brexit. So uh, <laughs> we're still part of the family and I'm very happy to be uh, with you virtually and uh, hopefully uh, again soon in any visible meetings. So that's it. Uh, if there are any questions, I can answer them. Let me check if I can have access to the chat. Yeah, there are a few questions actually. Um, one is, does Brexit have any implications? Um, and the other one is, how can we get involved? And how do we volunteer? Yeah. Other people asking how to get involved, how to volunteer, and the big Brexit question as well. Mashallah, I'm very happy with this question. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, because we're always looking for volunteers and um, people wanting to be part of uh, FEMISO. Um, I think the easiest uh, thing you could do now is um, follow our social media, uh, subscribe to our newsletter. And if you uh, specifically want to uh, volunteer, I'll share a few links in the chat afterwards. So please have a look there and then you can see uh, what we need because actually we are recruiting for a few uh, positions that are currently available. So it would be very uh, much a pleasure to welcome some of you inshallah within the team. And uh, by doing so, we can inshallah give back even more to uh, all our members. So I'm happy with this question. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it was very insightful. And actually, um, many of us don't, don't know about FEMSO or um, you know, we're unaware of exactly what, what FEMSO was there for. So it's really um, a delight in this perspective. A few more questions coming through. Um, both are just for um, Brexit impact versus membership. Sorry, one more time. Brexit impact of forces membership. No, no, you're okay. still, uh, we're still very happy to have you as part of our network. So it's European and it's not just uh, strictly um, by boundaries of the European Union. And uh, another person is asking is how many hours are you required to put in if you're, if you're a volunteer? That's a good question. Well, it very much depends on the uh, role you would like to be uh, taking up and also on the department. So uh, I'm the head of member organization and relations. So um, it, it's really different. Uh, if you would be part of the media team, for example, then it would depend on the skills you have. Our video editor, for example, uh, is investing a certain amount of time. Uh, our ambassadors of, the, um, of my department, they would invest a bit more time because they would have to travel to our members. So it very much depends on the role you would take up and the time you have, of course. And then uh, based on that, uh, we organize as much as we can. Okay, okay. Um, Harris, Sister Gother, and I'm sure many of us will be getting in touch um, in regards to things. So um, we'll move on and the rest of the conference. My pleasure. Thank you so much and wish you all the best with the next, uh, with the rest of the conference. Barakallahu thank you for having me. Assalamu alaikum.